up, you have to breathe. Whatever breathe. Is that the piano? Oh no! And then bring it down. Okay? Exactly. So remember. Oh no! Such a complainer. Stop it, Julia. Did you have a bad lesson? I bet you can't play the scales. Miss Clara said if I don't practice my scales at home, I would have to practice at my lesson. It's really annoying. Yeah, but whenever I play the scales, totally right, she would clap and scream like that's the best thing she's heard all day. Brenda, everyone knows you're her pet student. Know what? The other day, she showed me how the pedal works. When I pressed on it, all the dampers would come off the strings. And when I blew on the strings, I could hear echoes. It's really neat. Miss Clara never shows me nothing. Me neither. Did you know Miss Clara's father was a piano manufacturer? What's a piano manufacturer? Someone who builds the piano. Brenda, are you Wikipedia or what? I'm sure Miss Clara tells all her students about her father. You just never listen. Miss Clara's father probably made Miss Clara play the piano on the day she was born. Like mom makes us play the piano. Ah boy, play that song 20 times and don't you stop before I say so. I think she had it worse. I think Miss Clara was brainwashed even before she was born. That is sad. Maybe that's why she's so strict in everything. Hand positions, postures, shoulders down, back straight, and not like this. Or this. Hey, one time Miss Clara warned me, if I don't sit up straight, I might get sucked into the piano. Sucked into the piano? Yeah, and then she laughed. Her crazy laugh. Crazy witchy laugh? thing I've ever heard. Watch me. Get out! Get out! Please! Please don't hit us! We don't know why we're here. We don't want to be here. So why did you mess with my hammers? We didn't mess with your hammers. We didn't know they were your hammers. I just bumped into them and they made a bunch of noise. I didn't mean to. I'm sorry. Ah, you must be the ones. You must be the ones Miss Clara talked about. Miss Clara? Ms. Clara? Yes, Miss Clara is treating two students to a field trip. A field trip? Where? Here. Where's here? Where's here? The inside of the piano. Oh my god. We got sucked into the piano? My god, Miss Clara is indeed a witch. Well, well, she is a little strange. But she doesn't mean you any harm. 
She just wants me to show you around, since your parents are always picking up late anyways. Can we go home when the field trip's over? Of course. If we keep critters like you inside the piano, the piano will not play properly. Now, tell me your names. I'm Kelly. I'm Julia. And I'm Mr. Hammer. And these are my workers. Really, they're your workers. Because when you play the piano, you're making them work. Mr. Hammer, Mr. Hammer, look at these new strings. They've just arrived from Germany. Aren't they beautiful? Yes, Miss Strings, and I've received these hammers from Britain. The felt is strong and tight. The boss will be pleased. Let's give them a test first. Sure. Steely, copper. From the fingers to the keys, vibration, vibration. From the fingers to the keys, vibration. From the hammers to the strings, vibration, vibration. From the hammers to the strings, vibration. From the fingers to the keys, to the hammers to the strings, vibration, vibration, vibration. From the fingers to the keys, to the hammers to the strings, vibration, vibration, vibration. These strings are perfect. I'll go tell the boss right away. Hello, children. Kelly and Julia. I know you well. You know us? How? Through Miss Clara? No, through yourselves. But we've never met. True, but each time you play the piano, each time when the strings vibrate, they tell me how you're feeling. And the 
strings are responsive to your touch. They become a part of you when you press your fingers on the keys. They're the harmonics. They're the sounds that come out with each note you play, but so high that you can't hear them. But they're there? Precisely. Hello, kids. I'm Mr. Ma. The, the piano manufacturer? Miss Claire's father? Oh, no! Oh, no, 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 no. You still can't be living. Why not? Because Miss Clara is old. And you can't be younger than she. You must be a ghost. Smart kid. But am I scary? <laughs> well then, there's nothing to fear. Now, Kelly and Julia, let me take you to my piano factory in Hong Kong. How do we get there? By flying? On the magic carpet? You can hold on to this piece of felt. Now open your eyes, slowly. You're here. We're in Hong Kong! Yes, Hong Kong in the 1970s. We're now in a foundry where metal is melted into liquid. Molten lava? What does that have to do with the piano? This is how the frame of the piano is made by pouring liquid metal into a mold. When the frame is cooled, we drill holes and put pins and pigs on it. Steely goes on the right side for the high note. Copper goes on the left side for the low notes. Look, that's copper's wrap. And that's Steely getting strong. And now, with the bend on the wire, the hammers are poised to strike the strings. What's this man doing? He looks like he's blind. He's tuning the piano. He doesn't need to see to tune the piano? No, he needs to have excellent hearing. And that's the bottom line. Mr. Ma, did you make lots of money making pianos? Well, no. But enough to bring up Miss Claire and her sister. But I've never heard of anyone making a living by making pianos. Only doctors, lawyers, accountants, dentists, and computer engineers. But my Alma says otherwise. Your what? Your Alma? I 
have a secret friend. She doesn't have a name. I call her my Alma, cause she's always here with me. Alma is like a spark that you can't see with your eyes. I get it. Alma is like the harmonics. You can't see her, but she's there. Hot dog, you're right on. And Alma is a joy that flows in my heart. No matter how hard life is, no matter how unfair it seems, I have Alma, my truest friend. And I never lose the courage, courage to dream. I dreamed of building a piano the way I'd like it to be. I dreamed of airy screw and pin and all the wooden moving parts that make the hammers hit the strings. I study books in German and English and took other pianos apart. Step by step, I slowly built the piano of my dream. I dreamed of thousands of people playing on my piano. Young people, old people, people with all of their fingers, and people with just a few. And maybe, just maybe, they'll discover their Alma through the music that they make. I wish I had Alma. You do have Alma. You and you. Everybody has Alma. But not everybody listens to Alma. You found your Alma in the piano. I found my Alma in the piano. And I never looked back. I wonder where my Alma is. I wonder when I'll see my Alma. You'll see Alma in your own eyes. When they shine with full brightness. You'll feel Alma in your heart. And you're never tired. I don't want to make a piano, but I like origami. I can fold papers into birds or boats. I can do that all day. Mr. Ma, is it okay to dream that I'll be very rich one day? So rich that I can fly my own airplane? Sure, and you needn't ask for permission. Your dreams are yours. You just need to ask the question, is Alma in the airplane or in the money? Mr. Ma, Mr. Ma, I have a question. What's your question, Julia? Did you make Miss Clara practice the piano when she was a baby? Or before she was born? When she was four, I wanted her to love music, and she did. But she found her Alma. It's not on the piano. Does that make you mad? Of course not. The piano, airplane, origami, dentists, accountants, lawyers, are all the same if they bring joy to our heart. Hey, you know what? I think it's time to go back. Hold on to this piece of felt and close your eyes. Mr. Ma, the parents are coming. They're just around the corner. Thank you, Mr. Hammer. Okay, Kelly and Julia. I'll say goodbye now. Goodbye, and thank you for the tour. Yeah, Mr. Ma, thank you. I'll tell Miss Clara you're the coolest ghost. Bye. We can We've come to say, to goodbye. say goodbye. Bye. Bye. And thank you. And thank you. Boy, that was fun. Wait, we're still inside the piano. How do we get out? Mr. Mr. Hammer. Yes. How do we get out? There's no door. Door? There's never a door on a piano. <gasps> then how do we get out? How did you get in? I'm not sure. I think we got sucked into the piano while we were goofing around. Maybe if you remember what you did right before you got sucked in, it might help you get out. Like open sesame? Something like that. Look, I have to go back to my hammers. 
They just got glued, and I have to make sure they're angled correctly before the glue dries. Sorry, I can't help you. Mr. Hammer, don't go! Miss Shrink! Cooper! Steely! Everyone's gone! What are we to do? I don't want to be stuck in a piano for the rest of my life! What did we do right before we got sucked in? I can't remember! Mom? Dad? That's what we said after we got sucked in. Will you stop crying and start thinking? Hey, you out there. Somebody? Anybody? Does anyone remember what we said or did? Please, please help us. You laughed. You wiggled. That's right. We laughed and wiggled. Let's laugh and wiggle. I can't laugh. I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared too. I guess we'll have to force ourselves to laugh and wiggle if we want to get out of here. Okay, let's practice. <laughs> 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 Piano 2020. 